guys, this is Makeup Wish 11 and I'm Alice and today I'm giving you guys a video on how to sort of like make your own eyeshadow and I just made one but it's obviously not finished but here it is, it's a lovely purple colour and the colours I used you can see here it's a dark purple, a purple like a big bright violet purple and a light pink Whoopsie. and then to give it some extra shimmer I just use this gloss pigment and I don't know where I got this all my friends gave it to me for Christmas so don't ask me where I got that and um, then I'm going to do another one just using oh by the way these colors are from my Guylond palette and I'm just going to use a empty pan, which I also got from the Guylon palette. I just took it out from the powders because they're not my colour. And then I'm going to be using some greens to make this um, colour. So I'll put you down so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> okay, so from my Guylon palette right here... I'm going to be taking these two, you can't really see them, but I'll like put a video of them um, after, wait, I'll sort of show you them. It's those two greens right there, and they're very nice colours, but I want to see what you get when you like mix them. So I'm just going to get sort of like a grit or a bobby. And I'm going to just scrape the eyeshadow which I want. So I'm first going to start with the darker colour. And I'm then just going to get this product and put it to just sort of scoop it up actually. It'd be good if you had one of those like mini spoons but... I don't. <laughs> and I actually want to like separate it from the palette, but I can't. So as you can see, I'm just spooned a bit of the product into here. I'll move that to where you can see it. And just add some of the product. And I'm going to add quite a bit of this green because I want quite a dark shade. Now the green colour which is above it. Let's see if I can show you that right there. I'm just going to scrape some of this. I'm not really, I like don't really wear these colours that much, so that's why I'm using these. And I'm just going to get that green colour and pour it in. So I added quite a bit of that. Now I'm just going to add a bit of a pigment I have from Gloss. The one I showed you before uh, was a pink pigment but this one I'm just going to use a white pigment right here I'm just trying to get rid of my palette okay so for pigments all you need to do is sort of pour some in and this just comes off and these colors are so shimmery it's like pure shimmer so I added a bit more product to that and now I'm just going to get some water. Lots of people use rubbing alcohol, but I think that could be kind of bad for your eyes because, like, the pure alcohol has got to be bad. I'm actually just going to get some in a container and add it like that. And then just give it a mix. So I'm just mixing the water in now. And what this does is the eyeshadow sort of like sucks up all the water. 
and you're left with like a just normal eyeshadow. And this colour's really pretty. As you can see, it's I made it really neat as I possibly could. But I actually think I'm going to add a bit more of the pigment to give it more of a shimmer because at the moment it isn't too shimmery. There's a really weird texture because it looks solid but when you touch it it's like water and nothing comes on. It's really weird. But when it dries it will have sunken down a bit but it'll be really nice. So I'll keep on watching to see the finished product. I just want to show you another colour I made, this one right here. I love the look of this. And I'll show you it tomorrow when it's dried. So yeah, you need to leave them one day to dry. Or you could put them in the freezer, but I don't recommend doing that. So tomorrow they should be set, and if not, just leave them a bit longer. Here's another one I made. It's just like a highlight colour. And it's sort of like a sandy white with them pink in. And I pink and purple in. And I purposely didn't mix that just to give it that cool effect. And I used a face the face powder that came in this palette for this. Um and I'm pretty sure that's okay for the eyes. And then the purple I just used uh, wait, that colour right up top, the big bright purple vial I use for the purple I made, and then this little pinky colour down here. It's a very beautiful colour. So it's been a whole day since I've made them. And I do have to say, my personal favourite is the green. It is beautiful. And um, I'm just going to tell you that I have just finished filming the St. Pat Patrick's Day tutorial and I'll link that as soon as it's up in the down bar but for now I'm just going to show you each colour so the one up top is the green it is just beautiful it's like got tons of shimmer in as you can see and it comes out slightly lighter than it is in the sort of pan but it is beautiful then moving over to the purple, the second colour. That also has tons of pink, lovely shimmer in there. And it's just the nicest purpley blue colour. I just love these colours. And they're actually, for like, they come from a really cheap palette. And they're homemade, so I was like expecting them to be slightly chalky. F tons of fallout, not to work very well. But they work so well. They're like sweep on your eye really easily they're just like normal eyeshadows when they're on you wouldn't like be able to tell that they're made from water and old eyeshadows then moving on to the brown it's all like a brownie purpley pink I mixed a ready brown which is right uh, that one and I also mixed a bit of this in and I then also added a bit of the olive to it, and then some pink, some a bit of that, and a bit of that. So yes, I added lots of colours to this. A bit come, it came out quite nice. It's sort of like a more rosy brown. You know, it's like a brown with a pink and purple undertone. Then that's the white highlight, and this is so weird. I've actually really got to show you this. The second you put it on. It's so like really light, and you're like, oh, that's got no color. It's very really bad, no pigmentation. But now look how pigmented it is. You've just got to leave it like, um, like less than a minute, like twenty seconds, and it becomes like this super pigmented white. So I just need to get a bit of this and show you. I just need to show you this. I don't know why, because it's awesome. So I just need to get some product on here. So as you can see, I've got quite a bit of product there. I love that book, by the way. It's awesome. I know why. I've never heard of it before. But I got sent by some relatives. And I love it. Okay. 
so I'm just going to swatch it now it's kind of hard to hold the camera and swatch so just enjoy looking at that so I just swatched it and you can see how like light it is compared to the one up top and it's really hard to believe that that's going to turn into that without doing anything so you just leave it and you can slowly see it so sort of like getting more pigmented just keep watching so look it's almost the same color as the one on top and this one's still getting more pigmented it's really crazy actually like when I was filming the St. Patrick's Day tutorial, you could not really notice the highlights. And now it's really bright, but just look, it's amazing. I love the colour as well. It is a bit chalky, so you do need to blend it in on the eye. But I love each and every colour. Look at them, they're just beautiful. I'm going to wear these so often. They all have like tons of shimmer in except for the white, but... Those two colors up top mainly, they have shimmer, they're beautiful. So, bye guys!